Hi, today we'll be calling my first page from the new book by Hanna Carlson. And I decided to use for the background my new set of Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 crayons because it's really interesting to learn how they work on different papers and how they uh, work together with different art supplies. So I think that it will be a perfect art supplies to use for the background. And I got my inspiration for the colors of the background in the uh, home decor shop where I saw a beautiful set of pillows and they were made from the fabric from India. They were so bright and beautiful. And I found the color combo pretty unusual. They had a warm background in orange and yellow and a little bit of olive green. And also the main decor was of magenta, violet and blue. So quite bright but still of very uh, fashionable and very beautiful and I immediately remember about this picture with the peacock. I really love to color peacocks and I'm quite happy that in this book we have um, I think three pictures with peacocks and I decided that this will be my first try in this book. I decided to make the background on the right part of this page more bright and intense and colors for the left part I will be doing a little bit lighter and a little bit transparent and the same way I will be using the source light for the peacock itself when I will be coloring it in the second part. It was a huge pleasure to work with uh, neocolor crayons on this paper they are so bright, they are so creamy. I was very happy how they lay down on this paper, how they mixed together and of course how they dissolve with the water. I used synthetic brush and I was able to move pigment from the crayon just like I wanted. I was able to completely remove it with my brush and clear water. I was able to make a, a smooth gradient from the brightest to the um, softest pastel color just with using my brush and clear water. Also, also, I didn't have any problems with bleeding through of the pigment. I will show you in the end of this coloring that I didn't have any stains on the back side of, the, uh, of this page. I didn't have to think about what strokes I do, whether they have to be small or I can do uh, rough strokes, because with water I can dissolve um, strokes and lines completely and to get very smooth background. I like the texture of the crayons and that the pigment is not completely transparent and that they are a little bit opaque. I liked how I did the shading, the gradient between English red, orange, ochre and yellow. And maybe the only stupid thing was to mix together orange and green. You probably know that mixing green and orange is never a very good idea and if I would use watercolors I would get a really horrible color. But even with this, I was able, with, with this crayons, I get uh, not very bad gradient on the background. So it was a real pleasure to use them. Of course, it's only my first step in learning them, but it, I think that this art supply has a huge potential for the coloring books and for doing interesting backgrounds. And also it was very, very quick. If you don't have neocolor crayons and you still want to color this page with me, don't worry. I suggest that you will first color the peacock together with me in the second part and then maybe it will be even better to use soft pastels for the background because I really want to make peacock quite bright 
and to make soft pastel background also will be very favor favorable to the end result of this picture. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you will enjoy my first attempts to do the background with neon color crayons and I see you in the second part.
And you can see here that the page is a little bit wrinkled, but I didn't have bleeding through problems, so I just ironed my page and after ironing it was completely smooth. If you don't know how to iron your pages, I will leave you a link to my video in the info box below. See you in the next part!